Hei, čau visiem Rīgas Dinamo līdzutējiem, sezonu vairs galīgi nav aiz kalniem un mēs taisām vēl vienu braucienu uz Dinamo ar mūsu pagaidām pēdējo jauno komandas biedru kanādiešu aizsargu Brendonu Daranu Gormley. Brendan, welcome to Riga! Thank you! Wow, that was actually really fast! In a one, two, three, actually less than a week the new season begins. Yeah. The KHL and you're so far the last, the last teammate that arrived here in Riga. Uh, maybe tell about uh, how does it happen so fast or so late? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, like I said, it all kind of happened pretty quick. Um, but uh, yeah, as soon as the opportunity came about, I was was excited to, to come to Riga and and uh, be a part of the team. And uh, yeah, so like I said, it was it was kind of last minute, but. Uh, at the end of the day, just uh, yeah, happy to be here, happy for the opportunity, and uh, excited to get going. How long does it take for you to make the decision? Yes, I'm going to Riga. Uh, it wasn't very long. I mean, uh, this is a, a spot I I wanted to come. I've never played in the in the KHL before, and and uh, yeah, I was excited to to get an opportunity to play in the KHL and and come to Riga. Um, yeah, just uh, excited to get going. A week till the season starts. What was kind of few, three, maybe the first key yes things that uh, like uh, for you was approval to come here? Uh, yeah, I mean, I first off, I mean, I talked to talked to some guys that have, that have played here before. Um, everybody had real good things to say about cool, the fans. Cool. Names? Uh, Carl Stollery. Oh one. yeah. Uh, he's a he's a he had real good things to say about here. Um, and yeah, a couple other former players, but uh, they, yeah, everybody had good things to say. The city, the the town, the rink, uh, the fans. I mean, yeah, they, it, it was all good. So it, uh, yeah, it's exciting, exciting opportunity for me. But this is the first time here in Europe in Riga. Yeah, first time. Never been here. Before. Never, never been here. Last Excited season, to, last uh, season you spent, last season you spent in uh, in uh, Europe, in uh, in Germany, in uh, yeah. Sweden, Finland. Yeah. How was there? Yeah, it was good. Uh, yeah, I mean, last year was uh, a bit of a weird year, obviously with COVID. Uh, ended up not coming over till till uh, almost Christmas. I guess the the German season didn't start uh, start on time either. So, um, yeah. Can you, but can you say something in German? <laughs> I don't got much German. <laughs> Wasn't there very long, so uh, didn't Guten pick Tag. Up too much, we, we get us. <laughs> yeah, I didn't pick up too much, but uh, yeah, hopefully. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll pick up some uh, some life in here. Never know. Yeah. The the most important word is ciao. Ciao. Just like in Italy. Yeah, yeah oh, ciao. Yeah. You are saying ciao when we we meet each other and yeah. when, when we're saying goodbye. Ciao, ciao. Yeah, yeah ciao, ciao. ciao. Paldies, Louis. Okay, that, that will be. But but actually, the good thing is that the team is English speaking team. Like, a, yeah. do you know something or can can say something about the coaching staff, the Sergei Zubov? Yeah, I mean, I haven't uh, I haven't had a chance to to chat with him yet, but. Um, I mean, yeah, just knowing his uh, his pedigree from from back home in, in North America. Um, I mean, he was a world class player for a long time in the NHL, and and uh, yeah, that was that kind of also made it an easy decision to, to come here when you see a guy like that is is coaching your team and um, to, to have a chance to play under a guy like that and learn from a guy like that. It's uh, yeah, it was a no brainer to to make the jump over here. Actually, the team is already set it up. Uh, do you know some guys from your new team now? Yeah, I know a couple guys. Uh, I played with with Johan Matsen at uh, in Sweden. He was our goalie in Finland when I, we played together there. Um, uh, Reese Scarlett played with Reese before as well. Uh, he's been here a couple years, but um, yeah, other than that, I think that's uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that I I know right now. But uh, yeah, looking forward to meeting the boys. What can you see in front of you in the new KHL season? How do you think? What's your predictions, if we might say like this? Because uh, the hockey all over the world is one, yeah. but in every country, in every league, it's different. Yeah, I'm, I, uh, like you said, I, I'm not. I'm not sure exactly uh, what to expect. I guess. I mean, I played played in a lot of different leagues, and but this being my first year in the KHL, um, yeah, I think you just gotta focus on your game and and uh, yeah, try to play your best hockey. I think. Uh, I'm not really sure what to what to expect, essentially, like with with, with hockey wise. But exciting, um, will be interesting. But it's yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting opportunity, and and it's 
it's just exciting that the season gets going in a week. And, Exploring a lot of new Russian can, cities. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's a uh, lot to see and lots. Uh, yeah, I've heard the city. There's a lot, lots going on in the in Riga. I've heard so. Uh, looking forward to checking out the city here this week. All right. Uh, what kind of player are you? I'm a defenseman to start off. Uh, kind of a two-way defenseman. Uh, yeah, I like to kind of take care of take care of my own end first, and and be responsible defensively, and then. Uh, but also a puck moving guy, and, and and you know, create some offense from the from the back end as well. So, um, yeah, try to be a two-way guy out there. Do you remember your first NHL NHL game? I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. How was that? What 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 is that feeling? Because actually, if we can compare, like uh, in a less like in a in a week, you will have your first KHL game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Hopefully, that's, if we're gonna make yeah. the visa done. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it, was, it was a special time. I mean, uh, you just you dream of that as a kid for for so long, and I think uh, for that day to come and you to be playing in the NHL, it's like it's yeah, it's a, it's a dream come true. It's a little overwhelming at the time, I think, but um, but at the same time, yeah, you have you have the job to do, and you gotta go you gotta go play well. It's it's kind of easy to get lost, you know. Sometimes you look at the guys across the the ice, and you you grew up watching some of these guys, and and uh, so it was, it was fun to get a chance to play against those guys. But um, yeah, like I said, looking forward to getting the first uh, KHL one under the belt as well. You were drafted really high, yep. pick at number, like uh, that was 11 years ago, 2010. Yep, 2010. Around yeah. the first yep. round, 13. Yep. W what is that situation, and how can you describe that when you are all sitting there and waiting, and yep. then the first comes, second one, third, and then number 13? We yeah, were picking. That was. Uh, which team? I was in Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was a cool experience too. Uh, yeah, you're kind of everybody's at the draft. You're here, all, all your family and your fr like some of your friends come in, and um, it's like a huge event. Yeah, you're just yeah, you're kind of sitting there waiting for your name to get called, and um, yeah, a bit nerve wracking I would say because like obviously you, you don't know where you're gonna go before uh, does it beforehand. matter? And it doesn't really matter at, at the time, but. Uh, you know, it's just nerve wracking. It's it's a lot of uh, yeah. You're like your your future's kind of on the line, and wonder where you're gonna go. But um, but no, it was it was a good experience. I think uh, going through that, our draft was in LA, so we got to yeah go to the Staples Center and uh, yeah, had a lot of a lot of good family and friends there. So it was it was a lot of fun. It's a good experience. How did you start your hockey career? Could you be someone else? Someone else sportsman? Uh. I, I mean, I tried to play all sports growing up. I was, I was uh, hockey. I was definitely a little better at than all the rest, though, I guess. But um, uh, yeah, just playing in the backyard rinks. I think that's where, kind of where it all started. My my dad used to build me a backyard rink in Canada. It's obviously quite cold there in the in the winter time, so it's easy to to get the backyard rinks going. And um, yeah, it just started from a young age. Just kind of yeah, always always loved it. Always wanted to be out there on the ice and skating around and. Yeah, my sister was a couple years older, so she was always a couple years ahead of me. And uh, as a kid, and you know, you always try to you're keeping up with her and her friends, and and uh, yeah, always trying to play, you know, a couple years above your own age to try to get some uh, yeah good competition and stuff like that. So it's it was just a yeah a lifelong passion, I guess, and you just kind of run with it, and and uh, yeah, it's worked out well. A lot of fun. But, but is it like this that every single Canadian little boy <laughs> wants to become a hockey player? Uh, yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them out there. I mean, yeah, it's you know, you, like you said with the backyard ranks and stuff. Like you just you go to school and then you're you know you're meeting up with your buddies and and playing the backyard ranks. And I think everybody has that dream of uh, you know being the being the guy scoring the game winning goal and the you know. In the, in the NHL and um, yeah so I think that's kind of where it all starts for a lot of Canadian kids and uh, yeah it's been a fun ride but, but you you are happy with, with everything what happened to you yeah I mean there's definitely ups and downs along the way um, you know over uh, my 10th year pro I guess so yeah there's obviously highs and lows but uh, yeah I mean you just got to take it all in stride and, and try to get better each day and I mean yeah, that's about all you can do at the end of the day and just have fun with it, so. Can I ask uh, you to introduce you with yourself a little bit deeper? Just mentioned that you have a sister and uh, cats, dogs, fishes, turtles. Yeah, we got a, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, my wife, uh, Colette, she, she'll be coming to, to check out Riga. 
Uh, I got a dog named Heidi. Heidi. She'll be coming over too. She's a small, uh, small dog as well. So that's like okay, my responsibility to do, <laughs> do all, all the paperwork for you'll the dogs as well. To, uh, yeah, you'll have to get on that. So, um, but yeah, no, we uh, we live in Calgary now, um, and yeah, my my mom and dad are actually on the east coast of Canada, and uh, yeah, my sister actually, she, yeah, she's from Calgary as well. So it's uh, it's good to see her in the off season. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Just me and my sister and uh, my wife, my dog. So, what uh, do you love to do in your uh, off off season of hockey? Uh, yeah, kind of lots of hobbies. Uh, golfing, golfing being the one. Uh, I love to get out there with the the guys in the, in the summertime. One golfing. one more one more golf player in team. <laughs> yeah. You got a lot here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's good. Always always love some golf guys around. How's the courses here? Any. Uh, Good ones. Have you heard something about uh, Sandy Sosa Lynch? Uh, I have not many stories, but no. Sandy Sosa Lynch, okay, the Colorado Avalanche, 1996, yeah. the Stanley Cup, okay, yeah. he is the one of the legends of the Latvia, but yeah, uh, on his name is one of the golf clubs, also golf club. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's with uh, eight, 18 holes, and uh, there are a couple of them around, and there is a competition in, uh, in, in off season yeah. when, when our guys, like our cat, Lauris Dars, yeah. he is the, I don't know if it is like this, but the guys are saying that he is <laughs> the one of the best, and then oh, yeah? there is there always, you know, the competition between them, yeah. and uh, this is this is the nice. That. Yeah, yeah. That's no. awesome. What yeah. else? What what else do you like? Um, yeah, I do some like I like biking, like road biking, mountain biking. We uh, in Calgary, we live right close to the mountains, so it's it's easy to get out there in the mountains. Some great uh, some great biking. Um, some fly fishing, like fly fishing. Um, yeah, stuff like that. I mean, are you a good chef? Are you uh, are you a good chef? I do like to cook. Oh, my wife will share, uh, my share wife will the share, share the favorite meal. <laughs> uh, I mean, a lot of chicken dishes, uh, steak dishes. Um, yeah, those are probably a couple of my go-tos. I like cooking seafood as well. I'm from uh, my my dad's actually uh, a fisherman. We're from like the east coast of Canada, so right on the ocean. And he's nice. a he's a fisherman, so like lobster and uh, tuna, and scallops, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, that's uh, get kind of spoiled when you go back there. Lots of seafood and uh, yeah, it's. A lot of fun going back there. So. Actually, Latvia and the Riga, especially. Actually, we are located on a on a bay of the Riga Bay. Yeah, I've actually heard there's uh, some good seafood here mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. multiple people. Mm -hmm. who told me that. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm looking forward to checking some of that. <laughs> like the right place, yeah. right time, uh, right yeah. place. All right, uh, in the. We, we, we touched that question, but again, maybe on on the end of the interview, uh, what. What's your expectations again from the new season and some maybe wish to yourself, to your new teammates, to your, your new club and, and the fans, of course? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I have high expectations for the season. I think uh, obviously my first year, first year in the KHL, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think at the start of any season, a playoff spot's always what you're, what you're pushing for. And, um, you know, you play the whole regular season to try to get into the playoffs and, um, yeah, I mean that that starts next week. So I think, yeah, I mean as a as a goal for for the team, I think uh, myself anyway. I think that's that's uh, that's where it all starts. And and then yeah, just uh, you know individually. I mean bringing your you're bringing your best game every night, being accountable, being a consistent player uh, that can that can help the team get some wins. So um, yeah, that's kind of where it all starts for me. Do you know uh, which number you'll have in New Jersey? I believe number three. Mm -hmm. I believe number three. I've been uh, three a couple of times in my career. And, and, uh, Some special yeah, story about the number three? Not really, no. Um, started back in junior. I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, there wasn't really much uh, much story to it. I, I always liked the number and it was available in junior. Um, yeah, had some had some good days with that number and, and kind of carried it on. So um, yeah, I was excited to get that one. So it'll be, yeah. Uh, yeah, look forward to get going. All right, let's Keep let's fo let, let's follow the number three on ice yeah. as well. Yeah. Nu ko, super, labi. Uh, mēs dodamies tālāk savos darbos, noskatāties video, uzlieciet patīk, ja patīk, nelieciet neko citu. Katrā ziņā, draugi pavisam drīz sākas jaunā sezona ar ļoti lielām ekspektācijām un cerībām. Skatāmies jaunā sezonas virzienā. Pagaidām, čau! Čau!